Okay, what's up guys? So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you a quick trick to create some something interesting and it's really easy to do and I think you can create some interesting stuff. You can use it for walls, you can use it for wallpapers, you can use it for many things, ground. So what I'm going to do is show you how to create this and then just talk a little bit about it. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is if you've got a default cube, don't delete it. If you've got your sunlight and you've got your camera there you can delete that but keep the cube and then what you want to do is go g spring it our way to out of picture but don't delete it like i said then what you want to do is go shift a mesh plane then go s scale it up quite a lot something like that is perfect so make sure it doesn't intersect with the cube now what you want to do is go here to particles and hit new with the selected then hit here then what you want to do is change this number to about 2400 and go down to render then in path select this and then change it to object and then under the object over here select the cube okay now it's on to get somewhere and then under the scale randomness bring this all the way up and then you can change this something like that 0.17 even you bring it to about 0.15 looks good and now what you want to do is zoom in if you don't have a camera just go shift a add a camera and then hit control alt zero and now it looks funny but watch this so with the camera selected go here click top and click orthographic Okay, and then zoom in so click on the camera go here and bring this in bring the y up something like that to make it look a bit more interesting and then what you want to do change the world make this dark also make sure that you're in cycles not ev and then obviously if you go here you can see it's dark but let's say we want to add like a material so yeah you can see it's all white if you want to add a material, what you can do here is go to shading, then select this, select the cube, hit new. So don't make sure you're not selecting the plane, make sure you're selecting the cube. Then what you want to do is bring the specular up, the roughness down, something like that. Because you want it to be kind of shiny. You can see if I bring the roughness up, the shininess goes away. So you want it to be a little bit shiny, reflective. And bring the subsurface color up. And then go shift A, type in color, add a color ramp, plug the color to the subsurface color, then go shift A, add a gradient texture, plug the color, which is a factor, then go shift A, type in object, and then go to random and plug it into the vector, and then go plus to add another one here. And what you can do is click this one and then change this, bring it up, make this like a light blue. Select this one, make this like a light pink. And this one, it's like a green. Okay, you can play around with it however you want and then change this. To ease, you're basically done. All you do is you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see how cool that looks. That's literally how easy it is to create something. And then let's say you want something different. So you can click on the cube. If you've got real time materials or any kind of material, you can go with metal. Boom, boom. And it creates something. Obviously, this is not perfect. You can check that out. That also looks pretty cool. And then with the plane, you can go to the particles. You can adjust that. You can adjust the scale. Play around with it. And that is literally how easy to create something pretty cool. You can use this for walls. You can use this for like ground. You can use it for, it's endless. You can create something like this. Look how cool this looks. 
you know you can create something around this your options are, are pretty endless and you can use other objects you don't have to just use a cube you can change this to like a rectangle or a anything so hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe i will upload this to the patreon so if you're a member you can download this for free feel free to check it out but otherwise hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video